Okay, this is question four for Feb March 21. Paper for two. If you haven't tried the paper yet and you are right about to sit for your paper, your exam, please try the paper first, spoiler alert, so that you get to gauge whether you are ready for your paper. Okay, don't watch this question and just because you can, you, you understand what I'm doing doesn't mean that you can do. Okay, go try the paper and then come back again to see what you can learn. Okay, the paper is linked below. All right, anyway, state the significance of the minus sign in the equation. This is the definition of simple harmonic motion. So simple harmonic motion is like some further mechanics that is very special. SHM, Swedish House Mafia. No lah, simple harmonic motion. <laughs> no simple harmonic motion here. It's A is proportional to negative X. So it means that the further away you are from equilibrium position, the larger the acceleration. The negative sign here is for direction. Okay, so this means that the direction of a and x because they are vector acceleration and displacement are opposite okay so if you think of the pendulum <laughs> ding 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 we measure displacement from equilibrium position. So this is the direction of X. But the pendulum is about to swing down. The beat is about to drop or the pendulum is about to drop. So your acceleration is in this direction. See A and X opposite direction. So if we take right as positive, then left must be negative. No? So this is what they mean by opposite direction. If your pendulum swing to opposite position, like here, your X will be negative, but your A is positive cause to the right. So this is what I mean by this is what they mean by opposite. Okay? I will even add always. All right, next. We have a trolley on a bench between two springs, okay? They replace a ball with a trolley. Okay, lo. Sure. There are past year question where they put a ball here. Okay, now mind. Um the springs are identical if they are not identical you may not get simple harmonic motion okay the other end of the spring is on a fixed support so this support and this support cannot move it's like a wall okay the unstretched length of each spring is 12 cm i'm gonna call this l naught spring constant of each spring is k when the trolley is in equilibrium the length of each spring is 18 cm Okay, so this means uh, to attach the trolley here, I need to extend the spring. I'm just going to draw the spring without the trolley first. So the spring is probably here, and da -da 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 -da, the spring is probably here. So here to here, this spring is 12 cm. This spring is 12 cm. You got, you got a, I know it's a bit hard because, you know, how many laps did you manage to do in pandemic, man? Maybe someone should do a Kickstarter for physics lab equipment. <laughs> okay so this is unstretched you want to pull it you make it a bit longer and then you attach it to the trolley so when you attach it to the trolley uh you will extend a bit lower by 6 cm okay but now we are going to move the trolley so when the trolley is in this position uh, this is what we call equilibrium position miss why is this equilibrium didn't you stretch the spring you are right i stretched the spring but the left spring because it's stretched, will pull the trolley to the right. This is F -s 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 spring. The right spring, because it's stretched, will pull the trolley to the left. This is F spring. They are identical. So these two springs have the same force and they cancel out and then no net force. Okay? So now, assume that the resistive forces on the trolley is negligible. Show that the resultant force on the trolley at the moment of release is 0 0.77 newton so now i'm going to displace the trolley slightly to one side it doesn't really matter which side so to make my life easier i am going to steal another version of this drawing and put it here okay um slight cheat la. so during exam you may not be able to do this you draw down here low okay so i'm going to displace the trolley downwards downwards blah, sorry sideways okay i'm gonna pull it to this direct okay like this ah. 
So this spring is going to be compressed and this spring is going to be extended. Are we okay? So this is the new position. Maybe I should change color. New position of the spring. This one requires, this is a little bit hard. You need to be able to visualize what is going on. So you compress the spring, meaning on this side, this spring will have extra push factor. You compress me. So this is F spring extra. Because these two cancel out, we can assume it's not there. I should change color. Hang on. Be consistent. This is green. Okay. And here... You pull the spring, the spring wants to say, hey, please, why you extend me, please pull me back. So this is another F spring extra. This extra is due to the 4.8 cm because you pull it to the side by 4.8 cm. So when, in this case, our things are cancelled out, everything is balanced, the world is balanced, we are good. But now when you pull it to the side on one side you compress so this spring on the right will push to the left the spring on the left is extended will pull to the left so you get this law so then i can say hence your net force is actually equal to two times the force of the spring due to added extension of Z zero four point eight cm. I'm writing this sentence for people who need it. Okay, but if you don't need it, you write two F spring can already law. Force of the spring is kx. Don't forget our good friend hook. Okay, so our spring constant, so our spring constant, where's our oh, there? Eight point zero newton per meter. Okay, and our extra extension is four point eight. 4.8 times 10 to the power negative 2 meter. So the meter and meter can cancel. And if I press my calculator, I will arrive at 0 0.468 Newton or 0 0.77 Newton. Proven or shown. So whenever you see a simple harmonic motion question, it could go both ways. They could either ask you to, they give you the general equation, and then they will ask you to find omega or period. Or they can ask you to find net force and then equate to ma and a is proportional to x. So this is going to the slightly not so common route. The more common one is this one. All right, but don't worry, your knowledge of as forces and if you do mechanics in maths is more than enough. All right, so just imagine you push the trolley one side. What are the forces? What are the extra forces acting on the trolley? Some of you are thinking, Miss, then they give me all this value for what? Uh? For fun. Just to troll you guys. Just, just. So that you know what you're substituting. Uh, and they also give you final answer. Ma. So if you cannot get the answer because you put the wrong extension, you try out the other values. Law. That means you can still get marks, although your physics may be a bit, need a bit of adjusting. All right, next. See, calculate the acceleration. It's like I know what they're thinking one. So we will have net force is equal to ma. Now, before I want to find the maximum acceleration, okay, I probably know that this net force is maximum at this maximum compressed length at the moment of release. Okay, because what will happen to the force is once the trolley begin to move to the left because both forces are pushing it to the left, this spring will, re will go back to its happy place, which is 18 cm, and this spring will also go back to its happy place. So the force will actually decrease. So if I'm drawing a graph of extension against acceleration, which I will, I guess, draw here, Again, for purposes of uh, in case they ask other things, you don't know one. Ma. Okay, so let's say this is your equilibrium position and I will measure distances from the midpoint of the trolley. Bloop. Ding, ding, ding. So if the trolley is here, displacement is zero, everything is good, no one is sad or mad, that, but there's no question. <laughs> we displace it slightly, let's say to the left, to the left, to the right, 
to the right, to the left, Beyonce, okay? So now this trolley is here. We know this force is the biggest, so let's have to draw F against X. So uh, the force is pointed to the left, 0 0.77 Newton. So I'm going to call left negative, okay? And then of course the trolley will also go to the right. So to the right, you will get the same magnitude just in the opposite direction because now you're compressing this spring and you're extending the other spring. Okay, so if let's say your, your trolley is now here to the left, like Beyonce, okay, the center point is somewhere here. Okay, not really drawn to scale, but you get the idea. This net force will be in this direction because you are compressing the spring on the left and extending the spring on the right. All right, just push, pull, push, pull. Let me change color. This is negative. So you will get a graph that looks kind of sort of like this. So this is your F max, 0 0.77, negative 0 0.77. So if you want to find maximum acceleration, you will take 0 0.77 because the acceleration actually changes. That's why they use the term maximum. So anyway, we're going to substitute mass in and we're looking for A max, maximum acceleration. So our maximum acceleration is 3.7. 0 0.07 guess you could put 3.1 meter per second so because the fx graph is like this if they ask for the ax graph the ax graph will look something like this one it'll be at the same position this value here is 4.8 huh? this value here is negative 4.8 in case they ask graph so generally, this is how I recommend people study law. Think about different ways they can ask the question and also use this as a revision opportunity. All right. So here is 3.07 or 3.1 and here is negative 3.07 if this is acceleration against position. Still 4.8 here, still 4.8 here. CM, put units, meter per second square newton. All right. Just in case. Next, use your answer to determine the period T of the subsequent oscillation. Good news. If you have A max, you can find a lot of things. For example, you know A max is A omega square. So you should know the maximum value. Maximum displacement is amplitude. So maximum displacement is A. Maximum velocity because of differentiation is A omega. Maximum acceleration because of differentiation is A omega squared. You want to see the differentiation? Check out the chapter 13 playlist. Times omega times omega squared. Okay, so from here, do we have the amplitude? Why, yes, we have. Ne? 0 is 4.8. 4.8 times 10 to the power negative 2. We have A max 3.1 or 3.07. It's up to you. I decide to use 3.07. Okay, uh, omega square is 2 pi over t. So for the interest of doing my question, I like to find omega first because omega is a very useful constant in simple harmonic motion. So I will always find omega first. And omega, by the way, happens to be 8. So 2 pi over t is 8. And from here, t will be equal to 2 pi over 8, which is 0 0.785. I guess I can write 0 0.79 seconds. Oh, 0 0.785. Did it, did it. Where are my marks? Ah? Miss, okay, okay. I think your mark, did I mark from the top? Let's start from the top. Okay, two marks. I think one mark is when you write F net is equal to 2kx. This is C1, okay? And if you use F equal to kx in any format, where this x you put 4.8 cm, and 8.0, this part here is another C1. Okay, C1 for the 2kx and C1 for the correct substitution for k and x. For this part, when you are looking for maximum acceleration, it's very straightforward, it's just one mark. So if I see 3.1 and the right equation of f equal to ma, you will get the one mark. Okay, for this one, if I see a max is a omega square, this is C1 mark. Omega arriving at 8 is C1 or omega 
2 pi over t is 8, including this one. Okay, and then finally, this is a1. This is quite a lot of marks for a simple calculation. Okay, now we're going to repeat the experiment, but we decrease the displacement to 2.4 cm. So this means right now, you're using the same, you're using the same uh, springs, right? So what is going on here is right now, your acceleration is going to go from here to here, where this one is 2.4 and this one is 2.4. Everything else is the same, okay? Does this change the period of oscillation? Okay, so in this case of, I think about net force. Hmm, what have I calculated? I know net force is equal to 2kx. I also know that net force is equal to ma. So if you've watched the video of me or Miss Ellie proving simple harmonic motion, we always find the net force and then equate it to ma. And then we try to move things around because we want to see is a proportional to negative x or a proportional to x. La. So I'm going to rearrange this so that a will now be equal to 2k over m times x. There will be a negative sign here because the direction of net force and displacement is opposite. But if you want to include, you can. Okay, if not, it's okay. Then he, from here, I compare with the general equation, negative omega square x. So this is general SHM equation. <laughs> okay, so hats off to people in the chat who understand what is simple harmonic motion. And Swedish, Swedish house mafia. Okay, anyway, omega is equal to 2 pi over t, which also happens to 2k over m. If you want to change the period, there are only two ways. You change the spring, you change the mass. That's it. Or you'd use one spring, la, but we are going to assume that you're going to use two spring. So the only way, so your period is only affected by spring constant, k, or mass of the trolley, m. No more. So if I change the displacement, does it change the period of oscillation? No. You can just say, there is no change. I see what you did there, CIE. I, I see what you did there. You're not going to cheat my feelings this time. There is no change. Okay, but we got to explain, right? Because they say, state and explain. So there is no change. Why though? Why? Because the omega is independent or the period is independent of the amplitude of the trolley since omega is equal to 2k over m do you need to write this i don't think so lah. but you know i went through this so i flex a bit long Okay, because the angular velocity omega is depend independent of the amplitude of the trolley. So I'm guessing if you say no change, this is B1. And if you say this is because omega, I guess you can say period or omega is independent to amplitude of the trolley is another B1. Okay, so this is a slightly more challenging simple harmonic motion question. Because they start off with the forces. Normally, they will give you the force or they will give you the general equation but now they expect you to work your way to the general equation which is not too hard because it's just two springs so don't worry the situation won't be too complex okay and that's it for this question